Hi guys, just thought I'd do another quick video to show you um, setting up these cell modules. So here they are here. Um, these are balancing modules. I've got our um, four, four cells, lithium ion phosphate cells here. We're going to make a 12 volt pack. So we'll just um, first of all lay out our um, interconnects. So Firstly, you want to um, file down the the terminals with a preferably a, a stainless steel wire brush or file to leave bright, um, clean aluminium and copper there to um, give good connections. So we get our interconnects here. First one goes there. Second one here. And the third one there for 12 volts. Now we've got our cell modules. So I'm just aligning these cell modules and uh, I've discovered that due to the thickness of the bus bar here, I need to raise that to get that height on this end, which means I've had to put a couple of stainless steel washers under there, which is, I don't know, maybe not ideal. What do you guys think? I'd rather just have one, one washer or a bit of bus bar or something under there. But anyway, that's what I'll do for now to get that height. So I'll just go ahead and get the rest of these bus bars positioned and the cell modules put in place and I'll come back. I've got the cell modules all, all fixed in place now. Um, I've got green LEDs on all of them, which is good. That means they're within their safe, um, or within the correct uh, working voltage. So there's another red LED on this side. All the ele electronics are potted on these, which is nice. Uh, there's a red LED, which um, lights up when they're in bypass so that happens around 3.6 volts which is just about fully charged for these cells so uh, yeah there's a little bit of mucking around i had to put um washers a couple of stainless steel washers under the um positive and negative post as i said uh, i had to cut back the heat shrink so that the um the PCB would sit flat and uh, totally cover the bus bar but apart from that it's all looking pretty good uh, so this um, cover goes on top just to protect the terminals that sits on there I found this is just a food container uh, I found which fits perfectly so it took me a while to find one that worked but this one was really good so I've made this bracket to uh, fix the battery into the case. Um, put some padding on the back there. That fits pretty snugly around the pack like so. And bolts to the back of the case. Um, I've got wing nuts. So there's stainless bolts that go through the back. These these bolts here go through the back of the case and then I've got wing nuts which which tighten it down just to make it easier to take the pack out if I ever need to. Okay guys I'm just bulk charging this pack now I have a 20 amp life charger here um, so I've got that just plugged in it's got a fuse here uh, <clears throat> all the green LEDs are lit so if any of the cells go into bypass a red LED will light up. I've got the cell tracker here um, so we have 13.83 total voltage so there is a bit of a variation in the cells at this stage um, these cell modules, once the pack is balanced, 
and all the cells are balanced, the cell, the cell modules will keep it in balance moving forward. Back again guys, still charging this pack up. Um, <clears throat> as you can see we're putting in 19, 19 and a half amps there. Uh, we've got three 13.9 total voltage. The cells are all heading up around 3.5 so they're getting close to being full. Uh, we've just got green LEDs at this stage. Alright guys, we're getting close now. The amps have dropped down to 17 and dropping. We've got one cell at 3.6 volts and you can see that red LED is on on that fourth cell there. Feel some warmth. Bleeding off some heat there. Uh, so I'm going to stop it soon and I'll manually charge the other three, bring them up and then just fine-tune them all to to full full capacity so we've got 3.65 yeah it's over 3.65 now 3.5 the others are still around 3.5 so yeah I'll stop that charge now um, and I will do some manual charging on the other cells yeah there's a little bit of warmth there all right guys